guitar instructional video, we're going to go over some, uh, the basic progression. We're going to spice it up a little bit. You know, you have an E, A, D. It's a basic one, uh, four. It's not a five progression, but it's just a basic. Let's see, it's the E, A, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. So it's like a... <clears throat> One four seven progression. There's you know, literally tens of thousands of songs that are written from the E A D. But if you just play an E major, an A major, or in a D major, that can get pretty bland. So you know you can you can play an E or an E seven that way, just lifting up your third finger. And then you can make it what's known as an A sus two or an A minor nine. Now the reason that they call it an A sus two is because normally when you're playing an A major chord, you know, most of you know how to make that. But when you make the A sus two or the A minor ninth, that second string is now open. Well, why is it why is it a two? Well, if you're thinking about a scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight notes in the scale. A, B, there's your two. Well, why do they call the A sus two and A minor nine? Well, if you're starting on this A right there, A, B, C sharp, you know, you go all the way through, you get to that B. Well, you, you, this was the, the second note of the A major scale. And so an octave higher is that open second string. That's why they call it an A minor nine, all right? But nevertheless, you know, <clears throat> despite the theory, we give that strum pattern, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, 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 if you want, something a little more complicated, to an A minor nine. There you go, make sure you're just playing, you're just playing. The fourth and third strings, your second and third finger. I like to use that. Some people want to use their first and second finger. The reason I'm saying to use your second and third finger, is then you can go to an A minor or an A suspended or an A minor seventh like that. You can arpeggiate it back to the E or E seven or E minor seven. E minor seven is just right there. See. So so if we play this progression, E minor 7th, A minor, 9, all that is just in a basic blues scale. No extension even. Just a one four one three one three one three one three one four one four. That's the pattern. Twelve fifteenth frets, twelve fourteenth frets, twelve and fourteenth frets from the fifth to third strings. Second and first strings right there. So see we got the E minor seventh, just one finger, the A minor ninth. I go to a D nine. People call it a D sus too. The same idea as the A, A minor ninth with A sus two. Well, you're lifting up your second finger, regular D major chord, open D major chord. Lift up your second finger. Well, that E is really this is high E is really the ninth. The ninth and the second are the same. The ninth is the second, but it's just one octave higher. So you can call this a D sus two, because normally a suspended chord is the fourth. It's the fourth note in that in the scale, A B C D, right? Well, actually, it's A B C sharp D. So it's the same with the D, the suspended. Is the G D E F G, so that 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 D nine when you got that uh, 
E, D, E, right, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, then the E would be the nine. The D nine, or you can call it a D sus too. So, now you got the theory, but here we go, let's apply it. E minor, let's go to a D nine. E minor seventh, D nine. If you want to get fancy, you can put your, your second finger back down, back to the D9, the D suspended, D, D9 to D, D suspended to the A minor 9. Instead of playing a bar chord, barring all six strings, just got my first finger on the sixth string, fifth fret. You can do that, and so the first and second strings are open, and the B as well. Okay, just to open first and second strings. I'm not making, not barring all six strings. Same shape right there, just something different. Spice up your playing. So not only are you gonna be playing instead of an E major and E minor seventh, instead of an A, A minor nine or A sus two, or instead of a D, you can play the D nine or D sus two. But when you make the bar chord, just keep that first and second string open. So I'm on the fifth fret. An A, call it like an A open, B open, 7th fret, G open, back to that A, as if you were in A there, okay, or you can, you played that, I just played the, the blues scale, starting on the 2nd. Uh, fret of the sixth string, that blue scale shape. If you don't, don't know how to make that scale, look at my video, how to make a blue scale. Or it's just that simple. So. Second, first, second, third strings. First, second, third. So if I make the D9, or your D add two, first, second, third strings. Fifth strings in the E minor seventh. Same thing with the A minor seventh and D nine as well. So there you go. Instead of playing E, A, and D, play those shapes the way I showed you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Keep playing and have fun.